I have some impressions about Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess. I hope, I hope I said that right. But anyway, I've been playing this game, Kunitsugami, from Capcom, of all people. I mean, a AAA company in 2024, taking a punt at a new IP. That's, uh, that's unusual. And even better, the game got released on Game Pass, so I didn't need to drop any money to give it a go. Um, but yeah, I didn't go into it expecting much. I kind of only watched the like one trailer from a few months back. Um, but beyond that, I didn't know much about it at all. And I thought, you know what, let's just give it a go. It looks like it's got some interesting art. And goddamn does it have some interesting art. The game looks really, really nice and really interesting designs of all sorts of creatures and environmental doodads i mean the gates that are arms and fingernails and stuff ugh, 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 ugh. but awesome yeah so visually this game has been looking fantastic so far i'm about three four hours in done a few levels um the gameplay is actually quite interesting it's a action rpg style style game so it's an action title you go around chop things up but it's split into two steps so there's like a day night cycle during the day you're going around clearing up the area and purifying these evil bits freeing villagers and getting the um priestess to slowly move across the map and then at night time everything stops and you and your villager buddies fight the monsters that just come out and the monster's goal is the priestess they're just trying to kill her so you gotta stop that from happening so it's kind of a weird almost tower defense because you've got to stop the monsters from getting to the priestess who is the tower and on top of that you can assign the villagers roles like, like fighter archer monk type mystic dude sumo wrestler and you position them on the map and then they defend that area and they will have like an area of effect range they'll have special abilities and stuff and you can level them up um and then you can run around obviously and fight the things yourself and your, your combat is pretty simple you have a like a light and a heavy attack um and a dodge and that's it and you've got like some combos based on that you also have another special ability which you can change out so i've just been using this fire attack because it's really useful for killing enemies but i'm sure some of the others are probably better but i, I like the fire attack at the moment but um so yeah you you fight the monsters and the action you know what it's simple but it's fun and it can get quite intense as well especially when there's more than one gate that the the enemy monsters are coming through and again the enemy monsters are friggin weird on top of this outside of that when you purify a place you tend to you, you then have a village that you can look after and you have to like kind of level it up it's really simple you have to do some more levels and it takes a bit of time for them to finish all the stuff and then you eventually cleanse the whole area you get some extra stuff to buff you your own troops and you, or your own character basically it's it's all just for extra resources and it makes the town villagey place look cooler on top of that you can basically pet any animal so dogs cats snakes everything pet it all they all like you but yeah yeah so like i said i've only been playing it by four hours but for that four hours i am i am well and truly hooked and i don't know why more people aren't talking about this game it's really good fun i really hope it holds out to the end as obviously first impressions it's always you always if it's good you always hope it holds out but i can't see how this game could go wrong and Capcom, I think, are really onto a winner, and I really hope it does well for them. But obviously, give me some time, and I'll come back with a full review, and hopefully, it's lived up to my, my initial hype. And that's my uh, first impressions of Kunitsugami. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.